Scent Blocker presents Whitetail Frenzy. Oh, man. Thought I was going to have a heart attack a while ago. This isn't your average hunting show, and hunting isn't our full-time occupation. We have families, full-time jobs, and face the same struggles as many of you. Months of scouting and preparation for a single short moment in time. That moment when you can't control your breathing and your heart is pounding out of your chest. Whitetail Frenzy is brought to you by Scent Blocker, Elite Archery, the world's most shootable bow, Dual Game Calls, Get Real, Get Dual, Camex Crossbows, built like no other. Hey, welcome to week six of Whitetail Frenzy. You know, we, we know a lot of you all out there watching TV shows, watching everybody hunt on TV. All the time people are like, hey, we'd like to see people like us out there doing it. Well, well we are. We're just like you. We have jobs and families. This isn't our full-time gig, and, and we're out there just having fun hunting. I mean, yeah, do we hunt big bucks and try to shoot big bucks? Yeah, but we hunt whenever we can. We hunt while we can, and a lot of guys of our team, on our team, this brown is down, and that's just like this. You know, This episode, it, who, who named this episode? What's it called? R R Racks and Claws? <laughs> Racks and Claws. You'll see why it's named that, but... We, we should have named it Killers, don't you think? Well, when you see the two individuals we have on here, you know, first we had Jeff the Silver Fox Perry, killer. Yep. D, the Chili Man Calgar, killer. They're so, killers. Absolutely. You it know, should have named Killer. You know, when they're on the show, <laughs> something is hitting the ground. But first off, we're going to join Jeff Perry. He's hunting urban woods right here in West Virginia. And, and, you know, a lot of times the, these urban areas sometimes are they're overlooked. You have pockets of woods and that, that sometimes aren't hunted hard. And, and sometimes you can find some big bucks. And Jeff's getting pictures of a dandy 10 point. Yeah, but during the rut, these little pockets of woods, these big bucks, they'll filter in and out. Yep. So you just never know what's going to show up. It's early November, and uh, I got this little spot, probably about five acres. I just got in here, like something on my hands. Anyway, I just saw this set probably three days ago, and I hadn't been in here. And I just turned around, I was going to do an interview, and a big buck walked behind me. circle around come in front of me, I'm not for sure, but I'm gonna turn this camera around and get ready because man, he's a pretty nice buck. And I've had no luck this season because I haven't been able to go. I was watching this eight point below me. I decided to grab my dual grunt call, give it a few grunts and see how he reacted. Just a few moments later, I look around and right to my left, there he was, a monster. I don't know what, where that deer came from. I never heard it. There was a deer behind me at eight point I was filming. And it was standing on this little high wall and everything. And I, I just, I was grunting. I just kept grunting and grunting and grunting. And all of a sudden I turned around and looked 
and there was that big buck standing there. Oh, gosh. I'm so tore up right now. I'm sitting here relaxing, collecting the thoughts, waiting on Dave to come and help me. But I don't know what deer that is. I don't really care because it's a giant. An elite bow to option six, man. It smoked him. That arrow was through him so fast he didn't know what was going on. Oh, man. I thought I was going to have a heart attack. Once again, the silver fox. Fan favorite. I mean, everybody likes this guy. And you know why? Because he's a killer. He gets it done. He gets in the tree stand. He lets the arrow fly. And he's doing trophy photos before you know it. Whitetail Frenzy is brought to you by Rambo Bikes and X-Stand Tree Stands, Slick Trick Broadheads, the original all-steel broadhead, Slash Arrows with integrated blade technology. Order using promo code Whitetail Frenzy. Custom bow equipment, competition-inspired hunting sites, covert scouting cameras, size does matter, custard stand, the world's finest ready-to-eat hot dog chili, Hatfield McCoy Trails, offering some of the best off-road trail systems on Earth. Not very high in a tree, but it's option six. Dude, remember, the deer was standing like right up there. I had a deer below me, I was filming. All of a sudden, I turn around, and that big buck was behind me. So it was probably a 15-yard shot. He run about 10 yards and just stood there. He's just laying right there, man. I can, I can just about see him from here. So let's go up here. It's going to be a short recovery. Let's get my hands on this baby because I've never seen this buck before, and he's a giant. That's what we like to see right there. Blood soaked there. I can see that baby laying right there. I don't know what it is. I just got a big chocolate brown rack. Let's get up and get our hands on this day. We got him out here. Dave helped me come do recovery and everything. And I never had this deer on camera. And I had another buck down below me. And I kept grunting and grunting. And something told me just turn around. And I turned around and this big boy was standing there. And that option six smoked him. He didn't know what he hit him. Run about 10 yards and that was it. So it wasn't much of a recovery, but here he is. It's good West Virginia deer. It's early season, so let's get after it and get us another one. My man, the Silver Fox, getting it done again right here in the home state of West Virginia. And he, he thought when he shot that deer that it was the Big Ten, but he had never even seen that deer and never had it on trail camera. Like I've always said, my favorite time to target a buck is early season, late season, but it's the most exciting time to be in the stand with the unknown is during the rut. It's late afternoon, early evening, just got off work, figured I'd try to get in the stand every about an hour and a half, two hours, see what happens. Rained all, all night last night, all morning until a couple hours ago, so hopefully these deer are gonna be on their feet feeding. I'm actually hunting, uh, it's an early urban hunt here in West Virginia. It's the middle of September. I don't have any good bucks showing up on camera. Um, but I do have I do have several does. I came in a couple days ago. I scattered a bunch of corn out. There's acorns falling everywhere around me. But just to try to entice those deer to come in here a little more, put some peanut addiction out behind the tree over there. And I checked the covert camera when I came in. No big bucks. A little three point and a bunch of does. And they're really not messing with the corn months or eating these acorns. And they devoured the peanut addiction over there behind that tree. But hopefully. Uh, with this rain, you know, and the deer kind of been down uh, the last, I'd say, 16, 18 hours with the rain, man, so they've been bed down. Hopefully they'll be on their feet feeding and we can uh, get a big old doe. Or maybe get lucky, get a big buck come through here, but kill two a day. Hopefully we can uh, kill two bags a day.
I looked back at the footage and the shot placement looked great. I could see her going down and heard her crash right as she went out of sight. I bet she made it 60 yards tops, maybe less than that. It's probably only about 50 yards there to where I saw her go out of sight. But I want you to look at what she got hit with. In the front end of this arrow, I'm shooting a fixed blade. It is a slick trick, viper trick broadhead. It's got two main blades and then two bleeder blades there. But it's followed up by this slash arrow. We've been shooting these things for a few years and it's just unbelievable how much less the deer run after the shot and how much better the blood trails are. These are forward facing inset blades. So you got your fixed blade broadhead that's punching that initial hole and then these open up inside the animal giving you two devastating cuts an extra two inches of cut right there and that blew through her like it was nothing <laughs> i bet the blood trail was unbelievable but she didn't go far that deer probably lived about three seconds <laughs> that's the way it sounded anyway <laughs> she went down quick get another one of these locked and loaded definitely put the elite to work this evening that is a good day both of those deer there is no way that those slick trick broadheads and the slash arrow that they have went very far that's money <laughs> that's awesome i'm gonna get down and uh go get these deer i'm gonna drag them up next one another real quick do a recovery and uh then i then i got some dragging to do i'll see you guys on the ground what an awesome evening. Come out here, get off work, only have a couple days to hunt, knock down two big mature does, play a good part in whitetail management, put some good food on the table, and the shot placement was perfect. They each, one went over one side of the ridge, one went over the other, and it dropped straight down to a, to a flat. They both fell on the same flat, and either one I went more than 60 yards and then just drug them right around to the end of the point. Now I got Tori, one of the landowners, so let's just hunt out here coming out the pick me up on the side by side that way we can get these two big does out of here and make it a little easier on me so here we are we're halfway through episode six on season five of whitetail frenzy and we still can't believe we're here on our fifth season if you all haven't figured out yet we're having a whole lot of fun doing this we're all good buddies we get out we hunt together we have a common goal and, and we all have the same common dream and we're able to share it with you guys and we love it We're climbing in the stand with D. Calger, the chili man. He's in the mountains of West Virginia with his elite bow. The rut's starting to kick in, the deer are starting to move. But the good thing about these mountains is you have so many different things that could show up. A, a light, big, light, mountain, light, a big light. mountain buck. You're you're getting to getting ahead of yourself now. I, I, we're not we're not going we're not going to give it let's, away. Let's not get let's not give it away. You're because right. when D gets in the stand, I'm telling you, if it comes <laughs> in and he's got a tag in his pocket, watch out because he's going to let a slash arrow go. Well, it's about 20 after four, October 18th. We had our first cold snap last night, so, you know, everything feels good. I'm hunting in a big acorn. Red, there's a lot of red oak, white oak right in this area. Hickory nuts everywhere. So, hopefully the deer's up on their feet moving, bear, whatever. A lot of logs rolled over coming in out through there where they'd been eating some acorns and stuff. I know they're here. Got my fingers crossed. I hope something walks by. I'm sitting in a stand in the mountains of West Virginia, and I've got a tag to hunt a deer, a coyote, a bear, a turkey. Whatever walks by, I'm going to put an air in it.
stand, baby. Can you believe that? I'm out here solo filming, and uh, hunting, hunting on the edge of a big white oak patch right here behind us. We got white oak, red oak, and uh, you know, I get a lot of deer traveling through here. Uh, and here comes this bear. I knew there's bear in here because they've been rolling logs over and stuff all over, but he come right here behind us, uh, feeding on these acorns. I videoed him way up here on the, way up here on this hillside, feeding on acorns. Then he come down around this ridge and walked out and walked right in here behind us. Couldn't get, get a shot on him, I couldn't move. So he goes away, feeds out this way a little bit, and then goes back. The sun's in on the camera, man, but I hope it was, a, I hope I got it good. I'm solo filming. You know how t it's, it's unbelievably tough to solo film and, and get the kill, you know, make, make an ethical shot, but we done it, man. The slash arrows, the elite, that, it didn't go nowhere. And run right out there and died, done the death moan. You, you know, that's just, there's no tracking involved. It's laying right over there. I can't see him, but I know he's right there. It, it just doesn't get any better, baby. Whitetail Frenzy TV, baby. <laughs> yes. Whitetail Frenzy is brought to you by Scott Releases, the number one name in the release game. Whitetail Trail Mix. Go to whitetailtrailmix.com to find your closest dealer. Lethal Addiction Mineral and Attractant. Warner Law Offices. Call 304-345-6789. Peanut Addiction. The addiction is real. Cirrus Wind Indicator. Order at cirrusoutdoors.com using promo code Whitetail Frenzy. Whitetail Frenzy is also brought to you by the following partners. D. Calgar, the chili man. He's probably the most exciting, enthusiastic member we have here on the Frenzy team. You know, one thing I like about him most is when I ask him, I say, D, what kind of bucks you got that you're gonna go after this year? He said, my man, whatever's brown, it's down. All right, guys. I'm about packed up now, so uh, we're gonna climb down out of the tree here and go over here and check him out. Let's go down and get the air, and uh, then we'll go down and check him out. You can see it right there. All right, guys, let me get him cleaned up there. Big, mature West Virginia black bear right there. Look at the head on that rascal. And his feet are huge. Done it with the Elite Rebel Bow slash arrows, CBE sights. Man, I love my equipment. So, anyway, it's been a good day. Thanks for watching. And check us out on Facebook. White Tail Frenzy, baby. This is what it's all about. Man, I'm so glad that I met these guys on Whitetail Frenzy. You know, to get this bear on film and be able to go home, show it to my family, show it to you guys. I'm telling you, this is awesome. I love it. So Aaron, I'll tell you what, two of the most favorite people on our team, it, it's gotta be the Silver Fox and D Calgary because they, they literally, they just shoot stuff and they love it and they have fun doing it. And D always says, if it's brown is down. Well, I, I think, you know, after that hunt, killed a big West Virginia black bear. He, he needs to say, if it's got four legs and fur and in season, he's letting an arrow fly. And, and he does. <laughs> year in and year out, if you followed us, 
one thing you know about, about the chili man is something's going to die. That's right. He is an absolute killer. And I'm going to get back to what I was saying earlier. Aaron won't let me finish it. And, his, and I'm glad he didn't because we didn't want to ruin the surprise. You know, there are areas in West Virginia where you truly just don't know. A big mountain buck that you've never seen can show up. A big black bear can show up. A big wild boar can show up. I mean, West Virginia is, is full of surprises. It's not a state known for big bucks, but if you get back in these hills, there are a lot of critters running around and a whole lot can happen. What an awesome episode that was. Yeah, so make sure you come back next week, same time, same place. And make sure you get online. Go to whitetailfrenzy.tv, check out the Whitetail Frenzy apparel. Make sure you give us some, some support, wear your uh, Whitetail Frenzy gear out there, and get on Facebook and make sure you give us a like. You know, we're just average guys. Our whole team, we all have full-time jobs outside of this and families. We don't do this for a living. So you all go on to Facebook, liking our page, supporting us. It really helps us a lot because without you all support, we couldn't do this. Thanks again. We love you guys. One thing also, check out on Facebook. Check out the Chili Man. Check out the Silver Fox. Hit them up. Give them a question. Find out what, you know, what they've got going on in their tree stands because I'm sure it's something exciting.